and hello everyone welcome back and we we'll want to continue our discussion on the potential form so what we did what I did between the last video and now just to update you is uh, well you see we have some uh, log files here the block mesh dot log create patch dot log patch dot log log uh, snappy hex mesh dot log so um, what I did is um, just got rid of all the log files using the rm r star dot log command, which will delete all anything anything with uh, the dot log at the back. Uh, yeah, and that will get rid and of it, and you just have the log uh, snappy hex mesh left. So after some time, the mesh generation script was uh, done, and then we are left with this. Uh, we are left with this where we have the zero file, we have all clean, we have four log files, and we still have our run. Okay, so uh, since that's done, um, next thing I uh, want to do is let's see whether we can run potential form on this thing. So let's try and run potential form since we have supplied the mesh to it. And we'll likely come up with some problems. And then we, we see this thing called foam fatal error. And what's the error telling you? The entry phi is not found in the dictionary. Uh, home blah blah blah. It looks looks like it's in the system FV solution. So if we look at the system FV, FV solution, okay, it needs the entry phi. But the only thing you find here is the P, P final, and U. There's no entry, so to speak. So we need to take a look at the cylinder. We need to take a look at the cylinder potential foam, and we take a look at their system, FV solution dictionary. So whatever you see here in the phi, we will need this. So what I mean, what I'm doing now is just to keep running potential form, see what errors come up, and then we'll fix those errors one by one. And that's that's the easy uh, one easy way to learn. Instead of trying to just feed you feed lots of data at once, so let's take a look at the GitHub software, uh, the file. Uh, yeah, snappy pipe. Okay, I'm here, and now uh, remember what we what was wrong. We need to put a phi in the system uh, FE solution. Oh, okay, never mind. We we'll just go to system. Yeah, FE solution. And then we'll put a phi entry just below the U entry. Okay, so that's the data that potential form needs. It needs a phi uh, solver. Okay, let's try again. Potential form. So now, it's going to calculate some potential flow. Alright, so it, uh, it does that. Solving for phi, initial residual, blah, 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 blah. And uh, great. Uh, what happens to the velocity field then? Uh, okay. Is the velocity field changing? So let's check out the zero file. Yeah, the velocity field has changed, so that has uh, that has given us the what we need. Okay, and then let's try running potential foam with the right p. Okay, I want to do a right p in order to do the initial pressure field. So it's going to calculate potential flow. And then it says, oh, foam fatal error. Entry, divergence of divergence of phi and u is not found in dictionary. FV schemes, not diff schemes. So let's take a look at that. System, FV schemes. Right? And sure enough, the only two entries that you see there are default and divergence of phi and u. So let's see what, what uh, entry is inside the potential form uh, tutorial directory. So I'm going to skip all this changing directory. I'm just going to do this. Cylinder.potential form. So cd and this. 
and then we'll jump straight there. Then we'll go to the system file. Alright, let's go to PI system. Oh, I spelled system wrongly, that's why. Eh never mind. Regardless, we will have to look at FV schemes. Alright. And we look at the diver the uh, diff schemes and we find that sure enough there is a and there's it there's an entry here that says divergence of whatever this is is a Gauss linear. So let's go and just copy and paste that down. Uh let's see GitHub software. Oh it should be a yeah. Snappy pipe, potential foam. See this uh, BI system dot uh, FV schemes. So we'll just uh, do the minor correction by adding the entry in. All right. Okay. So now let's see whether writing it uh, potential foam dash what do you call it uh right p right. so it's gonna do that calculating the pressure field and the velocity field okay so it runs successfully but there's one more thing uh, i want to draw attention to it's called the non-orthogonal correctors because if you look at the look at the files uh, for flow around the cylinder okay you look at the the thing without orthogonal correction because uh, there there are basically some there's some corrections that need uh, need to be done for the potential foam flow profile to resemble the analytical solution so without non-orthogonal connect correct uh, correction it's going to look something like this the streamlines with non-orthogonal non-orthogonal correction it's going to look more like the analytical solution long and short of it you may not know what this non-orthogonal correct uh, correction really means hmm. but it makes the calculation resemble the analytical solution better so it must be a good thing so uh, I want to copy that entry down as well. Okay, so I'm going to CD here, and I'm going to VI system FV solution. So that's the potential flow, not orthogonal correctors. This is number three. So you'll tell potential form, hey, I want a level three on this non orthogonal correction thingy. So let's go and take a look at software in flight flow and snappy pipe uh, potential foam and we'll take a look at uh, our system directories uh, every solution I, yeah, I think so and then we'll just add this entry at the bottom say potential flow ah. potential ah, is replaced never mind I'll just do it like that. Potential flow. And we'll quit. We'll run it again. Okay. All right. So let's run it again. Snappy pipe. Oops, wrong one. Snappy pipe potential foam. Ah, typing it too fast. All right. So here it is. Let's just see whether our file was written correctly. FV solution. So non orthogonal correctors are in. The phi is in as well. So I'm just going to quit as is. And then, uh, oopsie. Uh, I want to run potential form. Write P. So it's going to calculate some potential flow. Uh, 
So you see there, there are some iterations that are being performed to to uh, solve for 5 and this uh, pressure field. Okay, so uh, it's going to do lots of iterations and then you get the initial pressure field as well. If you take a look at uh, the differences between uh, this, this uh, calculation and let's say the last one, look at this, this only like iterates once but this iterates like maybe like what three more times and that's what the non-orthogonal correction thingy is about um, it probably gives you a better uh, field to start with so uh, I'm gonna do a uh, script called uh, initialize it's, uh, initial what do you call it? Uh, condition Okay, so I'm going to look at the mesh generation file because I just wanted to run the potential form application from there. So I'm just going to copy and paste this. Okay, and then I'm going to vi initialize mesh conditions. Oh, say undo. Alright, so I want to run application uh, potential form write p and that's all we quit and we do a chmod 755 to make the script run initialize so if I run this initialize uh, initial conditions it's because it's going to run potential form for us so this is how you run potential foam on a, on a, on a new like uh, system. And after that, you can do the run file as per normal. Because uh, now we have a log potential foam here. Great. So it generates a log file for us. Okay. So potential foam seems to solve pretty quickly. And let's take a look at the initial uh, velocity field. So we're going to take para view. Para view. And let's go to the place we want. Uh, put snappy pipe. We uncheck the skip zero time. And let's check out our initial velocity fields. Alright. Uh, let me open that up again. Alright, so this should give us an initial velocity field to look at and we can just scale it properly and then we'll see this kind of a funny funny pattern that's on emerging okay so where's the inlet and outlet now we can take a look at the pressure okay you're gonna scale it again yep so inlet is the place with the high pressure outlet is the place with the low pressure so this part is the outlet and you can see the initial velocity field is as such. It's kind of a weird weird profile and it's not exactly you know the parabolic profile we expect because potential foam uh, will assume inviscid flow which means the velocity is zero. I mean no viscosity is zero. Uh, so yeah, we are assuming inviscid flow and it's a steady state flow. So this are how this is how potential foam actually initializes the initial conditions for other solvers such as Eigel foam or piezo foam to start. And uh, yeah, well, the only thing is, of course, you you notice because of the mesh, the mesh, uh, the improper meshing of the cylinder. You have all these rough, uh, rough indentations at the side, making the pipe a bit rough. Uh, therefore, we have this funny emerging wave-like patterns there that the potential form is generating. Of course, if we have, we have done this uh, meshing properly uh, with our Snappy X mesh, then it'll be better. But for now, the, for the purpose of education, just learning the, the software, then we'll, we'll just live with this and uh, yeah, 
and this is how we actually uh, generate uh, initial velocity fields using potential foam and we also learn how to write some of these proper scripts so I'm just going to want to upload this to GitHub, GitHub. Uh, I'm just going to remove uh, this experimental folder because I don't want to upload this and I'm going to do a git add and I'm going to run it in the background okay and after the git add is done I'm going to do a, a git uh, commit and I'm going to upload to github and that is going to be uh, put into our uh, description file so this snappy pipe potential form is the latest bit the snappy pipe is still kind of running uh, but we'll leave it as is and well I'll see you in the next video so hope hope you learn uh, something about how to use potential form to initialize the initial velocity and pressure fields for us to start running simulation all right so uh, git add is done we commit message uh, potential form okay with potential form added so yep it's done and I'm gonna do a git push origin master So there aren't too many new objects, but uh, yeah, you know, uh, yeah, it's the doing the usual upload thing. So yeah, um, I'll let the upload finish. For now, the video is ended. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.